What's up, beautiful people? Today is February 15th, and here is your daily energy report. So we have the moon today. <clears throat> That's in the latter part, the third deacon of um, Sagittarius, which is going to be, you know, yesterday was Valentine's Day, and a lot of people really, you know, get sentimental and, and, and start thinking about relationships and whatnot. Um, if you don't have anybody that you're like that with, you're more than likely thinking about where's my life going where where we 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 all want like a deeper connection um especially in these times you know um what i've been noticing that's organically been happening is that everybody is attracting their soul tribe right so if you haven't found your soul tribe yet is because there is something that you're trying to do mentally that you need to be doing emotionally heart wise so you're not connecting with your heart when you're in touch with your heart and you're connecting with your heart you are you are uniting with your galactic soul tribe because let's face it this day and age you know like we need the right you know partners and connections and networking you know um situations to where we can build what we're meant to build to create this new earth and this is really what you know the sun is now just one degree away from saturn it'll be exactly conjunct tomorrow so typically when it's just one degree away um and neptune and venus are exactly conjunct with the moon squaring over to that right so what does this all mean <clears throat> this is like bringing to our conscious awareness what we need to do to go from our head to our heart to really feel and and face face whatever control dynamics whatever whatever it is that we need to surrender to um this is really giving us like the clarity now the clarity can come in a form of frustration it can come in a form of why is this happening to me it's it's going to bring up um a deeper like victim sort of consciousness so if you're feeling like you're in your mind, you're like, why has this happened to me? Or why is this not happening to me? Or why is this thing that I want to create, you know, not, not materializing? Why, 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 why? It's because you're not surrendering. It's because you're not listening to your heart. It's because you're trying to navigate things with your mind. Stop doing that shit. Okay. Um, once you stop doing that, like <clears throat> once the exact conjunction between Saturn and the sun is there, the pimple pops, right? And then we have we we transmute that energy alchemically, and then we come in to a deeper understanding of what we do want. Now, if we still feel like we're missing something or we still want to create something more that we don't have, look, the real true happiness and um and abundance is felt in gratitude in the present moment, being present with everything that you have. So <clears throat> if it like a lot, I'm noticing a lot of people are in this place of lack, feeling you know, like feeling that they're not good enough. A lot of self-worth kind of stuff is coming up. So, you know, acknowledge that. And now now Mars is also at 14 degrees today. So it's like time feels like it's speeding up. In a way it is, right? Because as we raise our vibration and through facing all these things and purging all these things, our vibration is raising. Whether we like it or not, the collective frequency is raising. And of course, Pluto, you know, at that 29 degrees, <clears throat> and it's coming closer to squaring the nodes. In fact, Mercury is square the nodes right now. So karmically speaking, you know, like we're, we're getting downloads. We're getting messages that saying, hey, 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 we need to look at this right now. It's not going to leave you alone. And nor do you want it to leave you alone. OK. And that's and, and, and this is sort of a precursor to when Pluto comes into its square with the nodes. When Pluto squares the nodes, it's like, look, it's changing whether you like it or not. So right now is your opportunity to voluntarily move into your heart, voluntarily purge, voluntarily clear it out. And if you don't, then when Pluto comes into the square with the nodes, it's like, it reminds me of the uh, the scene in the movie A Bronx Tale. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go watch it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a classic movie. When the bikers come into the bar and the guy guy's being a dick and, you know, the owner um, the mafia guy comes up and asks him to leave. And the guy's like, I ain't fucking going nowhere. So then he goes and locks the door. And he's like, no, you can't leave. Followed by about 10 fucking guineas coming out with fucking baseball bats and shit, just beating the shit out of these guys. It's a great movie. Hope you guys watch it. Um, and don't forget to, like, you know, this is leading up to multiple more layers of clearing and purging and, 
you know, shifting into this uh, next level, which is going to, of course, happen next month. So this is not the end of it. <clears throat> We're still right in the middle of it. So do this work now. Sit with yourself. Learn to breathe. Learn to learn to just be with the self. And I promise you it's going to be a great day. So I hope that message helps you. Please like, share, and subscribe. This message resonates with you. Send it to your people that you think that will get something out of it. Um, if you would like to work with me, go ahead and just look in the, the, the description box below. Um, <clears throat> go to my website, butterflyfactory.co. You can go to my link tree, which is in the description. My my Instagram uh, is uh, uh, <laughs> bio underscore wizard underscore. Um, all this information, remember, man, Jesus. I just like being in the present moment, man. You know, like I like the flow. So I hope you have a flowy day and I'll see y'all in the next report. I hope.